The Toronto Zoo, home to over 5,000 different animals, each and every one of them a star in their own right. But now, there are two new residents that are getting a little more attention than the others. Apparently, the two-toed sloth is entirely miffed. Cue the cuteness. The pandas are in the house. And this is Maria Frank. She is curator of mammals here at the Toronto Zoo. Hello, Maria. How are you? Hi, Rick. Now, I want to wow you with my knowledge. These are giant pandas, correct? Correct. Versus the miniature panda that you see a lot of people have in their purses. <laughs> These are the giant pandas. They are from China. Correct. And how long are they going to be in Canada? They're in Canada for 10 years. 10 years. They're, they're on tour. They're like Celine in Vegas. They're on tour. But it's an extended tour. Ten years. Five years here in Toronto. Correct. And then... Five years in Calgary. In Calgary. Like so many people who come to Canada, they eventually go west for work. And now we are in the panda kitchen, correct? Correct. And this is what the panda eats? No, this is what comes out of the panda after it eats. I have a question. Why is there a uh, wheelbarrow of uh, panda poo here? It's really important to monitor their health and their food consumption. So we weigh all the bamboo that goes in, we weigh all the bamboo that they don't eat that comes out, but we also weigh all the poop that comes out. And the, the amount of poop actually tells us how healthy and how good our pandas are eating. When you go to career day in an elementary school <laughs> and you talk about being, working at the zoo, do you stress that that's part of the job? It is so part of the job. Very important. We have a score sheet for panda poo. Don't look at the sign. The sign is gross. Why is it gross? Because, listen, you have to believe me. I know what's acceptable at 8 o'clock, and this, this is This is a acceptable. scientific tool of panda poo grading. Like rate my poo for pandas. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes poo is just poo, my dear. This is science run amok. This is really... Did you go to school for this? <laughs> How many years? So we're leaving this behind now. We're done with this. Good. <laughs> So we're entering the panda exhibit, actually. <sighs> this is where the pandas hang out. This is where the pandas hang out. What are we so this doing bamboo here? is going out, and then we're going to be bringing some fresh bamboo We're in the panda in. cage. <laughs> this is like news footage of a grow-up bust. <laughs> Where's the bonfire? OK, so let's follow Karen, okay. and we'll get some good bamboo. OK. OK, come up the hill now. OK, nine yes. kilos of bamboo. Yes, just go like this. And then we decide where we want to place it. So we're going to place some in the, the ball here. How do you put bamboo in a ball? So just weave it through. This is like a segment from Steve and Chris. You just put the bamboo in the ball. <laughs> then you hang it in the middle of your living room. So what we have is this enrichment box here. So the Hang on, this is an enrichment box? Yes, as opposed to a cardboard, cardboard box. <laughs> OK, the enrichment box in the habitat. <laughs> So inside we have some treats. So this is a leaf eater biscuit mm -hmm. and some pieces of apple. So we're just coming up with ways of, of keeping the pandas busy and enriching them. What if I put this in there? No. It's no. sweet and salty. No. How do you know the panda wouldn't want a it's granola bar? It's really important that we stick to their natural diet. We don't want to make the pandas sick. Are we going to leave we the whole box them. for the pandas? Yeah. And they're going to open it like a present? Yeah. Don't make it too panda hard for the pandas. No duct tape then? No. They're carnivores, so they have a carnivorous digestive system, and it takes so much energy to absorb protein out of bamboo that they need to conserve their energy oh. for digestion. They are like teenagers. They're That's just sitting they there sleep. exhausted because they've because eaten so they much. Because they gorge themselves, and it's just eat, sleep, poop. Eat, sleep, poop. And play around with some The Peter McKay story. <laughs> It's a movie of the week. Where did I put back? the granola bar? <laughs> did I put the granola bar? Better not. Check your pockets. No granola bars for the pandas. We're not allowed to be here. This is super cool. Now, they make poor pets, correct? <laughs> because Please don't go there. I'm telling you, look at you. Remember when you landed in Canada and you met Stephen Harper? Did he give you an apple? 
No, he did not. <laughs> he did not. That's because I'm friendly. I'm friendly. And we're all out of apples. Are we releasing two pandas or one panda? One panda. Because they're solitary creatures. Correct. They're they don't solitary. hang out unless they're mating. Correct. And they only do that how often? Once a year, and the female's only viable for a 24 to 72 hour period. Once a year for 72 Try hours. For Crazy. What if the playoffs are on? <laughs> Release the panda. He's going to be hungry. Pandas are always hungry. Because he's. Because snapping. they eat a lot of bamboo. Oh! Look, he's going for my box. He's a smart panda. He's a smart panda. He is. His head is now in Stuck the box. Stuck in a box. <laughs> he's a smart panda. <laughs> oh, and he's got the treats I made for him. Yeah. And the thing that's so cool about pandas is that they're telling a story about global endangered species and what we have to do to save them. You think that is an animal with his head in a box, <laughs> but he's not. He's telling a story. Absolutely. About global endangered species. Absolutely. And this is all he's going to do all day. Yeah, the motto of a panda. Eat, sleep, poop. Also my retirement plan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful day at the Toronto Zoo. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, Stephen Harper.